Come here. Cutter, stop eating it all, silly. Look, come here. Oh, come here. He is literally like Bambi on ice. So today was not expected. I was going to film on Friday when I had a shoot planned. But do you know what? I woke up this morning and I felt like it was fate. I thought, why not film a snow day? This is Carter's first day in the snow. He just looks already so cute in it. He's like Bambi on ice. He also wants to just eat all the ice. And uh, Sunday's off nursery today. So I think we're going to go out and have some fun in the snow, even though I hate the cold. I'm more kind of someone who loves the warm, but I'm going to get my gloves on, get wrapped up, and I'm sure I'll be fine. But yeah, I thought why not turn the camera on today, capture Carter's first day in the snow. I'm sure he's going to be really cute. He absolutely loves it because he's such obviously a fluffy dog. I know that he likes kind of cold tile floors anyway. So I think he's going to have a really fun day. He keeps just shoving his face in the snow and then he's just covered in it he looks so cute but i am um, have one of my therapy sessions later i'm obviously not going to film that but i might give you a little update because this is my fourth session so if you did watch my vlog the other week i spoke about that i've started therapy now and i was going to give you updates on how i was feeling and what was going on so yeah i will give you an update of that later and there is something i'm not quite sure if i'm going to discuss it later yet or not um but there is something that potentially i might discuss with you i've spoke about this subject for like 10 years on kind of social media especially on my youtube since i've started about something that i've not done for many years and something has happened and i feel like it's time as you've been on the journey with me potentially to kind of open up about something that i've done so maybe towards the end of the video i might speak about that but it depends how i'm feeling after my therapy session so yeah I'm gonna get inside because I literally have PJs and Crocs on, so probably gonna be ill tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to filming a fun day in the snow. So let's do this. Are we going out in the snow? Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. We're gonna go and make snowmen. And we're gonna run around with Carter. No. And I'm gonna bury you in the snow. No. Yes, I am. No. I'm gonna bury you in the snow. I'm gonna take my clothes off. Not to go in the snow, it's too cold. We're gonna wrap up warm, aren't we? Because there's nothing in worse. In a towel. I'm not gonna go out in the snow in a towel. I'm gonna put loads of layers of coats and jumpers on. Yeah? But I'm not. Yeah, hate being cold, so we want to get nice and warm, don't we? I want to put my foot in. Your foot's in what? I want to put my foot in the snow. Yeah, we're going to run around in the snow and make footprints. Yeah. And then should we do snow angels? Or you lie on the floor and you make a snow angel. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, with your arms as well. Yeah. Yeah. And she would get Carter to do a dog angel. Yeah. Doggy angel! Doggy angel! Doggy angel! Doggy angel! <laughs> Doggy angel! Doggy angel! <laughs> it looks freezing out there. I'm going to be honest with you, I sound like a bore here, but when I was a kid, all my friends were outside playing, throwing snowballs, making snow angels, making snowmen, but Carl, he was a boring one that was sitting around the fire inside with his parents because I normally like the warmth than I do the cold. I am someone, I don't know if I've told you this before, but I'm letting out all my secrets now. I sit every morning for about an hour with the hairdryer on me just like this because I just love the warmth of it. And I am also someone, like I filmed this morning outside, I already feel a cold coming on. So clearly my body is just not made for the cold, but everyone wants to go out in it. Sunday's excited. Carter's very excited to have his first snow day. So I'm not going to be a bore. I'm just going to wrap up instead. Got some leather gloves because something I always do is if I do go out in the snow, I always forget gloves, hat and nice thick boots because it's your toes, your feet and your ears that get cold first and then you're just uncomfortable and you just want to go home. So I don't actually like bobbly hats because I look like an idiot in them. So I've got this warm aviator jacket, nice and soft and padded and like this padded soft material inside. I can stand like this if I get cold. 
because it's got it around the ears. Got my gloves and then have some denim jeans on with some brown boots just to style it up in case I want to get a little picky. So yeah, everyone's excited. We don't often get snow here. And even when we do, it's normally like poxy snow where it's like the odd patch here and there. However, as you saw this morning, there is so much snow. So I'm sure a few snowballs are going to be thrown. I'm sure Carter's going to be rolling around in it, which I'm not looking forward to bringing him back to the house afterwards because his fur just holds all of the dirt. But hey ho, I'm starting to sound like an old man that hates snow days. So we're going to go and eat something quickly because we're all hungry and then let's get out and enjoy this snow day. been out on the walk for about 10 minutes. Carter is obviously quite a strong dog. Sunday was adamant she wanted to walk him and unfortunately Carter pulled Sunday over and just like me as a kid you just don't want to be cold so we are having to take her back and we just wanted to put the, the walk short so come on Carter. So I'm going to let him out in the garden because he's absolutely been loving the snow and he looks so cool in the snow. He looks like a little bear. Stop pulling. He's about pulling me over to be honest. He uh, looks so like a little bear in the snow. But yeah, back to the warm house. I'm probably going to make a little snowman in the garden instead. Probably quite happy to be honest because even though I am feeling quite warm in this, I, like an idiot, came out and forgot to bring my gloves. There's me saying, take a hat, take a gloves and warm shoes, and completely forgot the gloves. Idiot. Sit down. Sit down. Kiss. 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 Ow! Big kiss. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I love you. I love you. So guys, today, 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 it's been a bit of a disaster. So it's not gone as planned. Obviously I woke up this morning, I thought, snow, let's do a vlog about snow day. Snowman, snowball fights, snow angels, the whole shabam, get Carter out in it. And yeah, it's just not gone as planned. But I've decided I wanna carry on with the vlog. I'm not gonna give up on it because it's not gone as planned. Sunday has decided she was cold. Obviously she fell over, bless her. So she wants to get in the warm. She's now playing inside. Carter decided the small walk that we had has killed him off anyway. Maybe treading in the snow is harder for a dog. So he is now asleep in the kitchen. So yeah, I feel like maybe the snow day has been canceled. I think I've still caught some really kind of cool footage of Carter, so I'm glad about that. Quickly show you in a minute the gym that we have got here. I'm so grateful that my friend has a gym. It's really good for me and my mental health to kind of do a workout, feel good about myself and kind of relieve any stress that you might have. So I'm very lucky um, that my friend has a gym in her garage. We've got some new equipment coming, which is amazing. I'm gonna quickly show you some of the bits um, that we've got now. I'm going to have my therapy session and then I'm going to turn the camera back on because I want to share a couple of things with you. I mentioned earlier something that I didn't know if I was going to discuss with you or not. I feel like now that this vlog has kind of gone down the toilet, um, I feel like I need to sit and discuss that to save this vlog. So let me quickly show you the gym now. So it's all a bit of a mess at the minute because we've had loads of things arrive, but we have some box jumps here, which is really good for kind of training legs. We've got a pull-up bar there. We've got this, which is amazing, a TRX. Uh, I think it's just called TRX, which is good for back or chest stuff. We've just got this arrived, which is a bar. So we can put some plates on there now and do squats or deadlifts or chest press because we have the bench there. We've got all of these weights. We do actually have a squat rack, which is going to be going there as well, which will be amazing to do legs again. Finally, we have the Peloton over here, which I haven't actually even attempted to use yet, but who knows? I'm not a big fan of bikes. I'm more of 
a runner. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of fitness. I'm not gonna lie, I love weights more. But I do, before lockdown finishes, wanna give this Peloton a go because everyone seems to use them, get good results, and people seem to enjoy them. So you can't knock it till you've tried it. So I'm gonna get on now with a little workout and then, um, yeah, I guess I'll turn the camera on in a little while and try and save this vlog somehow. Oh, I don't know what it is, but doing therapy, it really does kind of take it out of you because you're kind of speaking for a whole hour and you're kind of diving into different sectors in your brain that it really does drain you. But something has just come through the post and I am so excited. It's probably, car is in the way right now, but it's probably the most excitedest thing I've ever received. It is this box, which I cannot yet show you what is inside, but... I can tell you that in 2021, I will be launching my own brand. I want you guys to guess down in the comments box below, what brand do you think I'll be launching? But inside of this box is the first samples that I'm receiving. Well, actually that's a lie. I've received a few samples that I didn't particularly like of the products that I'm gonna be launching. Um, but these are some samples that now I believe I'm gonna be happy with. Um, and, excuse me. Doesn't normally get on furniture, but hey ho, he's getting one of Sunday's toys. But yeah, inside of here is some samples. I'm so excited to kind of tick that area off of the process, making sure that the products are right. And then, hey, and then we are currently having our logo designed at the minute and the website designed. So hopefully by hello, by May or June 2021, my product will be live. So something super excited to look forward to for 2021 i hope you guys are excited as well as i said let me know down below what you think it will be now my therapy obviously i said that i would be giving you a little update on where i'm at with it obviously i'm only four sessions in but i honestly can't recommend it more to everyone it's it's a really weird one because i was someone who was skeptical about doing it because i was like how can anyone help me when I feel like I'm already kind of like, I've told everyone the truth and I've opened up about everything. But doing this kind of therapy that I'm currently doing, um, CBT, it's really weird because I actually come up with the solutions myself. Just talking to someone that's like outside person that doesn't know you, there to listen, there to kind of give you their sort of feedback on situations and dive into certain situations. It's really made me kind of evaluate things and take more of a step back in situations. I think so many times we stress ourselves out, going into a situation and making it more stressful than it needs to be, which then was creating anxiety for me. I think now actually, I've always been someone that needed reassurance, someone that needed someone to tell me I'm doing a good job, someone that needed to tell me what I was doing was okay. And I think, hey. hi, I think with things where I was like filming videos or something and I was saying like, it, it's hard when you're filming like a YouTube video on your own and no one's necessarily there to say you were doing a good job or that was filmed right or what you said was right. I think it was making me have anxiety and filming things over and over and over again. Whereas now I've just come to the conclusion of like, what is right and what is wrong, what is perfect and what is not perfect. Just saying what you want to say, it's your words and if people like it, they like it, if they don't, they don't. But what is the worst that can come out of a situation? And yeah, it's just made me take a huge step back in everything and just evaluate the situation and not cause myself more stress than it needs to be. So, so far so good with it all. Um, we've come to a little bit of a standstill with something at the minute because a big area of the reason why I wanted to do CBT was because get him up on stage which some, sometimes I have to do in this career or kind of going to social situations like events with brands and stuff I get really bad shakes and really bad anxiety and we've come again to the kind of conclusion that I pre-plan everything so I try and script everything before it's happened and then obviously when you you don't, it doesn't go to plan because you've only scripted it in your head, you haven't kind of written it down for cue cards or anything, you then feel disappointed because it wasn't how you planned. But it's fine to just kind of change things up. So yeah, we haven't been able to test the social situations yet and we haven't been able to obviously test me getting up on stage and trying to be more confident than what I was. 
and it's really weird because obviously doing this job you think that like, I'm a confident person putting my life out there and and vlogging or doing what I do on social media but it's actually the complete opposite sometimes I am quite an insecure person I am quite get anxiety around a lot of people um and I think that is an area that I want to work on but obviously being in lockdown in the UK it's quite hard to test those situations because I'm not going to social events right now I'm not going on stage doing things so we've kind of come to a bit of a standstill that we're working on one sector at the minute and then hopefully if things ease up in the UK I can start to work on the others so therapy great at the minute these products I cannot wait to try I think I'm going to try them tomorrow and then the last thing, now I don't want to go into this too much, but I feel like I owe it to anyone that's watched a lot of my videos. A discussion or a topic that I have discussed for many years is my love life and the intimacy, I'm going to use the right words, the intimacy in my love life, not sleeping with people for many years. And not to kind of dive into it too much because I still want to keep certain things personal. I feel like I owe it you guys to admit and be honest and I also feel like this is part of my therapy. I've always been someone that didn't get intimate with people and sleep with people because I felt ashamed of myself that if I did it, even though I hadn't slept with many people or anyone, I should say, I should be honest, slept with anyone for 10 years, yes, 10 years, I felt like if I did do it, I'd feel cheap, disgusting, wrong, I'd have all these kind of personal feelings against myself and I'd feel like people would judge me. And to cut this video a bit shorter than what it would be if I explained it all, when I was away in Cape Town, I did sleep with someone and I don't feel ashamed of it. I feel proud of myself because it was something I wanted to do. And I told all my friends the next day I didn't feel ashamed of myself. And I just think to many people that might be like, great, you slept with someone. But if you understood my past 10 years, how I've not been able to be intimate with people and I really have kind of pulled myself back and I found it really hard to date people, fall in love and that's because of my own personal issues and I think this year as I said on my first video of 2021 it's the year about me and growing myself and building myself. All of these steps are so good for me because when we come out of lockdown hopefully now being intimate with someone and taking that step into just having fun and letting loose, I think that's the right way of saying it, um, it's big jumps into hopefully now I will be ready to go out and date people and not get anxiety and, and not judge a situation before it's even happened. And not expect anything from that date. Just go and have fun. Not needing to be planning my wedding before I've even gone on the date or knowing that that person I think needs to be perfect for me. Um, so yeah, I felt like I owed it to you to come on and tell you that because my biggest thing that I'm in therapy is about not being perfect or not holding things back. It's just being honest and being myself. And as I have done many videos about this before, I felt like this was a door that I could close because it's not going to be videos about I've not had love for 10 years anymore. It's not going to be all those sort of videos. It's going to be positive, uplifting, amazing videos on finding myself and moving forward in life and growing and strengthening me as a person. But anyway... Don't want to ramble on anymore if anyone wants to ask any more questions about cbt i know a lot of people actually have messaged me to say that they've gone through that kind of therapy themselves and it's really worked for them and i really appreciate you sharing your stories with me because it makes me just feel more confident in kind of the steps that i've took to to better myself but yes it's been a very confusing long day because obviously it did not go to plan and I don't know where this vlog has kind of directed itself. It was supposed to be a snow day and it's turned into a very random day. But hopefully there's been some interesting points in here. And hopefully you've still enjoyed it, this video. So if you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks everyone for um, the end of the day. This is when I lose my words. Thanks everyone for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And hopefully on a video in a couple of weeks, I'll be able to sharing some of these exciting samples with you and what will be coming soon in 2021. So hope you've all enjoyed today. Take care. I'll see you all next week on another vlog.